Hero section is one of the most important part of any website. And if your hero section looks like this, or this, or this, chances are people might leave your site immediately. But what if you can use a cool scroll effect like this on your site to hook your visitors right from the moment they land on your page? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to create an impressive hero section that has this scroll effect with no plugins required. All you have to do is use a GSAP code, which I'll leave in the description below. Before I begin, a huge thanks to Andrea because this video is inspired by her video. And you should definitely subscribe to her because she makes amazing content. Okay, I've got my page ready and I've added a big headline here with some text on the top. I know this isn't practical for all websites, but I've used it to show the effect clearly. You can instead use any size of text and the effect will still work. To add the scroll effect, we'll need to use a GSAP code. To do that, I'll drag an HTML widget like this and go to the description, copy the code and paste it here. Now we need to assign CSS classes to these containers for the effect to work. First, I'll go to this container with the headline and go to the advanced section. Now scroll down to the CSS class area and assign the CSS class upper dash container. Similarly, I'll select this container and assign it the CSS class as lower dash container. All right, after you've added the CSS class for both containers, we need to set our heading as h1 tag. Just select the heading like this, go here and choose h1. The scroll effect should be functional now, but we still need to set a few things. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. So I want the containers below the heading to pop up and this heading container to stick in place. To do this, I'll select the about container from the navigator like this. Go to the advanced settings, scroll down and set the Z index to one. Then scroll a bit more to the motion effects section and turn on the sticky mode by setting it to top. Also make sure to toggle on the stain column button as we don't want this container to smoothly scroll up. Next, let's do the same for the other containers. So head over to the pricing container and go to the advanced tab. Scroll down to the sticky option and set it to top. Also enable the stain column option like before. Now we need to set the Z index for it and we want this container to be on top of the about container and assign it a Z index of two. This will ensure that the pricing container will come on top of the about container as our viewer scrolls to the page. Finally, visit the content widget. Once again, Go to the advanced menu and set the Z index to three. Now set the sticky effect as top and turn on stay in column. Okay, all the settings are done. We just need to preview the page. All right, so when I scroll, the text expands and this container comes up. As I scroll more, these containers stack on top of each other. And once I scroll back up, I can see the heading coming back in again. Looks cool, right? Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.